How could I forget Superior Premium? My God, that's desperate, that is. It's time for another edition of Ewing 2 here on Sporting Life. And for this episode, we're switching over to the flat. I'm delighted to be joined by Richard Fahey up at his yard in Moulton. And Richard, two minutes to answer as many questions about your own career as you possibly can. Top of the table so far, so we've only done jumps, uh, jockeys and trainers so far. We've got Tom Scudamon, Joe Tizar, both on 13. Right. So 13 is the score to beat. Thanks for joining us. Are you ready? <laughs> as ready as you <laughs> can be. <laughs> we've got Josh on the timer. Josh, are you ready? And Dave Ward counting. Are you going to count these? You don't lose count, Dave, please. I don't think I'll need to count. After two, long. you'll be all right, Dave. <laughs> right. Timer starts after my first question is asked. Question number one. In January 2021, you recorded your 3,000th winner as a trainer, but which horse gave you that milestone success? Uh, red. Uh, Society Red. That's right, yeah. In 1989, you shared the conditional jockey's title with two other riders. Sean Turner and Derek Byrne. That's right. Question number three, Ribchester won four races at Group 1 level, but which of those races did he win by the biggest margin? Lucky. That's right. Question number four, the horse who gave you your first Group 1 success, Wooten Bassett, ran nine times in his career, but how many of those starts were with Paul Hannigan on board? Eight. That's right, Tony Hamilton rode him on his debut. Question number five, at which course did you saddle the most, most winners uh, last season? No, it was Newcastle with 20. Question number six. Which horse gave you your first winner at the Dubai World Cup meeting? Boladenka. No, it's Gabriel. Oh. Question number seven. Sands of Marley won the champion sprint stakes at Ascot in 2018, but which horse finished second to him that day? Too many questions there. <laughs> it was Harry Angel. Question number eight. Which horse gave you your first winner as a trainer? OK, Bertie. That's right. That was uh, Haydock, 1993. Question number nine, which horse gave you your first Royal Ascot victory? Um, Marine Commando. Superior Premium. Question number ten, Brian the Snail has had 46 career starts to date, but at which three courses has he won twice at? Newcastle. Newcastle's one of them. Pontefract. Pontefract's the other, and the other one is oh. Northern Base as well. Oh. Um, don't know. Donny, yeah. Doncaster, yeah. Uh, question number 11. Last season you had a 100% strike rate at one course. Which was it? Um, um, Chepstow. The Curra. Three runners, three winners. Question number 12. Mason romped to a five length victory in the 2012 July Cup at Newmarket, but what price was he sent off at? 22 one. That's right. Question number 13. Forest Ranger won his second Huxley Stakes at Chester in 2019, but which subsequent four time group winner? I saw it's all finished. Uh, which subsequent four-time Group 1 winner finished fourth to him that day? A dib. Is that the one you meant? Yes. That counts. So there we go, that's it, you and two. Richard Fahey scored... Don't lose count, Dave, please. Nine! Richard that, Fahey... That is harder than you think. <laughs> it is harder than you think. Well, Richard Fahey, thank you very much. He scores nine. For more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Lovely stuff. How could I Cheers. forget superior premium? My God, that's desperate, that is.